Okay, so here I am again with my brushless motors trying to find a, a good brushless motor controller that uh, will be good for my need so this is the one that uh, we've talked uh, before and now I've bought a new kind of uh, brushless motors so let's see how it comes I've already uh, opened one and connected it but let me show this one Okay, so we are opening it. <clears throat> okay, the the all car come is a very fancy nylon. Okay, so this is the brushless motor driver and uh, of course we are talking about three phase motors so we can see the bridge of the MOSFETs also we can see here that uh, this is it's written this is the whole sense of feedback this is the set which is uh, the speed uh, uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise and 5 volt EL and signal don't know what it is and here we have the phase phase ABC and the power okay so I have already connected it uh, before uh, doing this video so let's apply a uh, voltage and see what happened it is connected to this three phase motor so uh, let's power it on and talk a little about it okay so currently okay 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 so I will connect uh, this pin which is the clockwise or anti-clockwise and we can hear that the motor spin it is spinning clockwise and if I will change the direction which is a signal that is connected to the GND or VCC so it will change the direction if it is not connected you can hear the sound is different and if I change it so the sound of the rotation is different okay now if I will change uh, the voltage for the speed which is from 0 to 5 volt so it will change the speed and you will be able I think to hear it so let's do it sounds pretty fast okay but the reason that I want to talk about it is actually the whole sensor if you will connect the whole sensor in the wrong direction so it, the motor or it will not spin or it will spin not efficient meaning that it will consume a lot of power and uh, rotate uh, let's say slow and by this way we can uh, know if we connected the feedback for, from the whole sensor good to the to the controller another thing that I want to show <coughs> is how this whole sensor actually work so let's power the scope and uh, I will change the voltage uh, to zero okay I have here a reflection 
of the light above I will try to avoid it ah, this is a little problematic okay we will try a different ang angle sorry for this okay okay now we will be able to zoom on the scope What I will do now is disable the motor by giving uh, to the speed a uh, zero volt or I can disconnect the voltage and now I will put my scope on one of the phase and will show what is happening a little tricky to catch it ok I will choose a different phase Okay, so we can see that the scope is in a high, which means 5 volt. Now, if I will spin the motor, so it is changing from uh, from 5 volt to 0 volt, which means which means that uh, the direction of uh, the magnet of the rotor is changing now again if I'm moving it it will change up and down and of course each of the whole sensor will give a different picture okay so now I'm looking on one whole sensor feedback now I will change we can see that it is zero we we'll change to the second it will be up and the third is down okay and if I'm changing it so this one is up and the second is down and the third is up which means that every time uh, I have a different picture from the whole sensor and by this the controllers knows what uh, what bridge he need to open in order to uh, get the motor to spin this is a little different from uh, ESC which is used to all the drone and the helicopter which is an electronic speed controller without a feedback that we have on the net. Uh, the difference is that we are not using the whole sensor meaning that it is less efficient uh, but it is good uh, for motors like the helicopter motors. Okay so that's all for now.